Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my pearlescent paints, but I'm doing a completely different experiment today to what I've done before. I've mixed my paints with Floetrol, so my pouring medium, one part paint to three parts Floetrol, and I've already painted my canvas. So I've used the same color, I'm using Lamp Black by Amsterdam, and I've already painted this canvas and let it dry. Now the way the pearlescent paints work are on dark backgrounds because what happens is the light needs to go through the paint, bounce off the back of the, uh, the back of the canvas, so the dark black base canvas, and then the light projects through, back through those paints and that's what makes the color. So I'm gonna test out to see whether we need fluid black paint on the base or whether it's okay to still have just a, a black base but that's dry and already painted. So a bit of an experiment. So I'm gonna puddle the paints one color at a time to create the puddle effect in the middle and then I'm gonna stretch out the design, let it dry and see what kind of effect it makes. So I really hope you enjoy this process. And as always, you know I've already filmed this and I know my end result and it's totally different to what I've done before. So I'd love you to stick around so you can see the final result. So I'm adding quite a lot of the puddled paint, the pearlescent paint on top of this canvas. Now normally I would have a layer of black paint that would be fluid and I'd be adding to the volume of that paint uh, as an overall piece. But I don't have that luxury. So when I, when I tilt this canvas out and the design out, I'm relying on the paint that I'm only puddling on top. Because remember, the black paint is already there and dry. I'm throwing in a marble, mm, maybe not. I think what I'll do first is I will get rid of the air bubbles that I can see. And then I'm gonna take you in just so you can see some of those colors before I start tilting it out because they are still reacting with the, the background. You can see a very slight tint to those colors. And I'm already thinking that by not having the liquid back, black base, oh, tongue twister, by not having the liquid black base will probably mute these colours a little bit, almost kind of turn them to like a pastel effect. So I'm just doing what I would normally do I've placed my marble within the puddles of the paint and I want to create some lines and I'm going to do that by tilting the marble through those puddles. I'm just going to allow the canvas to go from side to side and that's what's going to help that marble travel around the, the canvas itself through those puddles of paint.
So here you can see the effect that that marble has had. You can see the lines and the design that it's created. But obviously everything still looks white because that's what pearlescent paints do. So I'm now going to just tilt out this design. I'm going to spread the paint across the canvas by tilting it in various directions and down the edges. And this experiment really is about do we really need a liquid black background to have the same effect that you've seen already throughout my series when I've been using the pearlescent paints. I do feel that they're going to be more of like a muted pastel effect but that's really exciting too because that means that we can then know how to change the tones of these paints by slightly tweaking the process and the technique that we do. So I'm going to stretch this out, I'll take you in for a close-up We'll obviously let this dry and then you'll see the end result. I do love how you can see some of those tones popping through when the light reacts with the paint. So yeah, I, I, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. I don't think I've got enough paint on my canvas. So remember, when you're puddling your paints on your canvas, you don't have that luxury of the black paint to kind of add volume to, to help that flow of the paint across the canvas. So just bear that in mind when you are puddling your paints on top if you're using a dry background. I'm just touching up some of the edges to ensure full coverage. And this is the wet version. So I can see when I stand back at a distance, I can see some of those tones, the, the, the puddles of paint that we've added. I can see the lines that have been created and the design on top from the marble. But it'd be really interesting to see how this dries. And it'll be really interesting to see how much of that color kind of pops through. So, Let's let this dry and then I'll show you the dried version. Okay, are you ready to see the dried version? I think that's a yes. So here we go. This is the dried version. And as you can see, it's a lot more muted. There's almost like a pastel effect to these colors. Um, it's a lot softer. And that's because what we've done is we've painted our base first and we've not added any liquid black to the design itself. So I think that's why they're a lot more muted, but a lot softer too. 
and it's actually dried really well. I can see the tones of the paint in the light. So when the light bounces through to the black base and back through the paint, you can see those colours. And I, I think by adding that marble and creating some lines has added some interest as well. So obviously not as vibrant as the pieces where you use liquid black, but just a different way to experiment with these paints. I really hope I get to see you again in the next video. So take care everyone. Bye.